what is going on you guys welcome back to my channel it's your favorite girl i'm Ronnie jolina and i'm here with another video for you guys this of course is a car vlog because you guys are on the go with me and i have to put out a video so we're doing this in the bins today okay but i wanted to make a video because i noticed some of you guys are still struggling with vendors i did not know vendors was still an issue for you guys until i was going through some of my emails and i saw some of the girls uh had questions regarding some vendors so i wanted to make this video of basically vendors that you guys need to avoid 2020 version so this is just going to be four tips that i'm going to give you regarding vendors that you guys need to avoid i do have some notes in my phone so if you guys do see me looking down you guys you know what's going on the first tip that i'm going to give you is to avoid vendors who only use celebrity pictures and or videos for advertising purposes or if they're using them for product images now of course a lot of overseas vendors so we're talking chinese vendors vendors on aliexpress do this a lot on amazon instagram vendors a lot of vendors on aliexpress do this a lot of vendors on amazon does this a lot of overseas vendors are known for basically stealing celebrity pictures now they're not even some some of these people aren't even celebrities they can steal like youtuber pictures or sometimes they can steal like my pictures or you know other hair company pictures and utilize them as if they're their own so i would say if you're dealing with a vendor or come across a vendor who is using sierra's pictures or beyonce's pictures and eh, kind of stay away from them because those are what i like to call mock images so they're basically those images are saying like let's say if they took a still image of this video they're basically saying that the hair that you would receive will resemble what my hair looks like so it's not going to be the same replica but it'll be a mock image or a mock product of what i'm wearing but it won't exactly be the same and my my best tip is to make sure the vendors that you guys are choosing make sure that they're actual product images so you know exactly what you're getting and you know exactly what your customers are going to receive we don't need mock images okay we need the real deal so that's number one tip two is going to be and this is a very very important tip okay i want you guys to really listen to this one avoid any vendor who only accepts western union money gram or wire transfers i'm going to say that again avoid any of those vendors who only accept western union wire transfers or money gram and the reason i say that is because out of those three for one your money cannot be traced and for two you cannot get your money back if there's a mishap that occurs which means you can send money that vendor can take your money and run off with it okay and we don't need that to happen we need our money to be secure because we don't have money to just give out if that's the case we we don't need to start a business so it's a hell no for that one okay so just be mindful don't deal with a vendor who only utilizes those methods now more so popular methods regarding payment processors and things like that paypal is a very very popular method that a lot of vendors use which is a very secure method method um or if they have a website where you can order directly through their website anything outside of that i wouldn't even waste my time dealing with and that's just my opinion you can do what you want to do but i would honestly just avoid you know any 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 type of method where your money can't be traced tip number three is gonna be if you only see good reviews nine times out of ten they're fake a lot of people think if you see good reviews online the product is good that is 100 percent false do you know how easy it is to make a different email address and make a review listen to me it is super easy to make an email address and type a good review on a Facebook page, on a Google Yelp page, on a, a Google listing page. It is very easy. So do not fall trap to, to falling into the category of believing everything that you see via Google or via the internet. I want you to guys, I'd want you guys to just be mindful of that. Just because it looks like it's a good idea or just because they look like they have good reviews is not always the truth. And some of the times, a lot of companies will pay people to just make 
good reviews on their product or just pay people to write reviews for their product. I have a friend who literally gets paid bank, okay, to just do surveys and write reviews on products. And he gets paid weekly just to write reviews on products. So don't, don't, don't fall trapped to the hype, okay? And then the last thing that I want you guys to be mindful of, and something, this is more so of a question that I want you guys to ask vendors, is ask the vendors if their hair is fallen hair. And if you guys have no idea what fallen hair is, uh, fallen hair is basically like scrap hair. It's basically just scrap hair that basically falls on the floor. So like if you're brushing through hair or if you're in a salon and you're brushing through hair and it's the hair that falls, um, and the different strands of hair that kind of like just literally falls on the floor and they literally gather it all detangle it and then put a silicone wash over it or si silicone chemical rinse over it and then resell it we don't want that with silicone hair or chemically processed hair however you want to say it once you actually wear the hair and you are actually washing your hair and you know wearing your hair and dyeing your hair and actually just going through the the groove of you know just just wearing hair and the everyday wear of hair that that silicone film is going to eventually strip off of the hair which is going to leave your hair matted tangling ashy looking and it's just not going to be the vibe okay so we don't want that so that is the question that i do want you to ask your vendors is the hair fallen hair which of course is just scrap hair that you know they just put all together and make 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 it work and, and try to resell um but those are the t four, t four tips that I had for you guys. If you guys like this video and you guys want more tips uh, regarding vendors to avoid or even questions to ask vendors, let me know. If you guys like the hair that I'm rocking or want to be a part of my wholesale program, my dropship program, or my pre-ship program for my own personal hair company, Click the description box. My hair com company's name is Allure96. Or if you guys just have personal questions for me and want to sign up for a coaching session with me, I'll leave the link in the description box as well. I wish you guys much success in your entrepreneurship journey, and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more updates and also additional tips and tricks. Okay, love you guys. Mwah.